But from his log and reports, we know that the Columbus expedition encountered the same mysterious phenomena in the Bermuda Triangle that continues to haunt us even at the dawn of the 21st century. Columbus also recorded that the island natives, like the Caribs and the Arawaks of Puerto Rico, were long familiar with strange occurrences in this part of the world. Their legends contain many stories of sky gods and green fireboats that could fly in the sky or under the water. These natives wouldn't think of identifying these strange occurrences as unidentified flying objects, but modern observers have difficulty calling them anything else. I myself have only had one experience on the Devil's Triangle, and that was in the southeastern Bahamas when I saw or thought I saw a lighthouse that wasn't there. Aside from that, I have not experienced anything unusual. But I've known people who've seen what they refer to as UFOs, green glows coming out of the sky and crashing into the water and disappearing down into the depths. And they refer to them as UFOs, and I guess that's what they were, UFOs. UFO doesn't necessarily mean flying saucer. UFO is unidentified flying object, and that is exactly what they were, unidentified flying objects. We don't know what they were. I was sitting on the beach in Bimini one night when I looked towards Miami, Florida, and I saw a red light acting really erratic in the sky. So I took off my glasses and I cleaned them to see if there was anything on the lenses. There wasn't. So as far as I'm concerned, it was a UFO because I couldn't identify it. 